you gotta bring your A game when you're in the city of Detroit. Thank you so much. So this is your second derby event, and so the first time you knew what to do. What to do. Yes, and I was also the winner of the hair contest last year. I'm not surprised. I love the Kentucky Derby because I've been going there all my life. Everybody is so beautiful. I don't think I've ever met a more friendly group of people. Everyone's as smiling and happy and hugging and laughing. So yes, definitely a good time. Accessories are everything. Uh, I just came not knowing what was in store, and I enjoyed it. And um, I just wanted to come and bring it even further. You bring it. <laughs> you bring it. You bring it. You bring it. Okay. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> See you guys soon. We're going to watch the race now. All right. That's right. So tell me one reason you come out to Detroit to take it My birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Turn up. <laughs> Um, tell me your favorite part about the D-Track Kentucky Derby. Uh, I just like to see, you know what I'm saying, black people together, dressed up, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, everybody just enjoying each other. You know, so I love it. Okay, what's your favorite part? Fantastic. All jokes aside, this is something that we should be doing every year. Come out, get dressed. It's one of the best of our city. It's just an awesome event to have. The food has been awesome, the drinks have been awesome, the mint juleps are awesome. So have you been to one of the Kentucky Derby parties? Never, ever, ever, but I'm going to come back every year. This one, people here look so good right now. People look so as women. Oh my God. Whoa. I mean, the hats. The hats alone is an old school fashion statement that says class for women. A little bit of hat on, a serious hat looks beautiful. It's a gorgeous, I love it. And it's colors, I mean, it's not that often that you get to go to the I got a pink jacket on. I mean, it's cool. I mean, guys in Detroit, a lot of, the standards have been set for so long in Detroit as far as men and clothes. My dad was a dresser. I'm a dresser. My brother's a dresser. Thank you for representing And what do you think about the fashions this year? Oh, so I really think we've stepped it up from the last time I was here, the year before last. I am seeing so many beautiful dresses. The men have no problem wearing all the vibrant colors. The hats are just amazing. It's, it's, it's eye candy for sure. Secondly, is your outfit. How did you choose this particular color for today? Well, it wasn't so much as the color scheme as it was the pattern. I wanted to go some, with something a little bit more fun, uh, more floral. Uh, something of that nature. What inspired you to go with this color for this event? Well, honestly, what I did is I built my outfit off my shoe. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, you kind of think what you already have in your closet, uh -huh. and you accent it with different things, yes. like the handkerchief, yes. the tie, right. the band. So yes. that's kind of how I did it. I... Was your hat the main reason why you chose the color scheme? You get your hat first and then find something to go with it. So once I got that hat, I was like, well, let me find something that will look appropriate. Well, great advice. You look beautiful. I love the event today. Everyone is dressed beautifully. The women are really killing it, and the men came to slay. So looking forward to next year, what do you expect as far as fashion? Next year, we're looking for still color, but we're hoping that the men do a little more coordination with socks, and shoes and the accessories, not just the clothes alone. You heard it from the best, LaRue Reed, right here at the Charles H. Wright Museum. We'll be right back. I jumped on the plane when I heard about this event just to come to support. And of course, you're always sharp, my man. Thank you, sir. Hey, we got to represent the D. This is what we do. The ultimate growing and sexy, sexy party with a purpose, you know, at the Charles Wright Museum, one of the premier african-american museums in the country the music detroit is already known for its music so this just adds another dimension and one of the cool things about this is this for charity uh, our charity partner this year is the kappa detroit foundation 
Tell us about your organization. So we are the Kappas, and we have the Detroit alumni, and we're sportsing the uh, Kappa Leaguers. And what this organization is about is taking young men from the age of 6 to 18, providing them with all the necessary tools for leadership to get them prepared to go to college. That's awesome. That's awesome. We took our time. We started small. We wanted to start small so we can grow it and feel good about growing. So, that, you know, it's our baby, you know, and we're watching it grow, and it's beautiful. Year number five, what do we expect from the circle? The imagination is off the chain, so you can't expect anything but elevation. That's all we do. We elevate it. The circle. I say that's the word for 2019 is elevation.